Hello, welcome to how to solve this very nice equation. 4 over x times 4 over x is equal to x over 4. We need to find all possible values of x. First of all, we multiply both sides of this equation by 4 over x. 4 over x times 4 over x is equal to x over 4 and we multiply both sides of this equation by 4 over x and left side we multiply by 4 over x. Now 4 over x times 4 over x times 4 over x becomes 4 over x cubed is equal to this x will be cancelled with this x and this 4 will be cancelled with this 4 and here left 1. So at the right side left 1. Now we move this one to the left side. 4 over x cubed. This plus 1 becomes negative 1 at the left side is equal to 0. Now we suppose that this 4 over x let 4 over x is equal to m. We substitute m in this equation, then this equation becomes m cubed minus 1 is equal to 0. Now, because this one, this one is equal to 1 cubed, so we can write this one as 1 cubed. And according to this algebraic identity, a cubed minus b cubed is equal to a minus b times a squared plus a b plus b squared. This m cubed minus 1 cubed can be factorized as m minus 1 times m squared plus m plus 1 is equal to 0. Now from here either this expression m minus 1 is equal to 0 or this expression m squared plus m plus 1 is equal to 0. From here m is equal to 1 and we have supposed that 4 over x is equal to m. We have supposed that 4 over x is equal to m. In this equation, we put the value of m 1. 4 over x is equal to value of m is 1. And this implies x is equal to 4. This is the first value of x. Now to find the uh, other two values, uh, we solve this uh, quadratic equation. This is not factorable, so we solve it by quadratic formula. In this equation, a is equal to 1, b is equal to 1, and c is equal to 1. And according to quadratic formula, m is equal to minus 1 plus or minus square root of value of b 1 squared minus 4 times value of a 1 times value of c 1 divided by 2 times value of a 1. Next, m is equal to negative 1 plus or minus square root of 1 squared is 1 and negative 4 times 1 times 1 negative 4. 1 minus 4 minus 3 divided by 2 times 1 2. Next, m is equal to negative 1 plus or minus we can write this uh, square root of negative 3 as square root of 3 times square root of negative 1 divided by 2 and m is equal to negative 1 plus or minus square root of 3 this uh, square root of negative 1 square root of negative 1 is equal to i. So, we replace this uh, square root of negative 1 with i divided by 2. 
so from here we get uh, two values of m m1 is equal to negative 1 plus uh, square root of 3i divided by 2 and m2 is equal to negative 1 minus square root of 3i divided by 2. Now recall that recall that 4 over x is equal to m. 4 over x is equal to m. Now in this equation first we put the value of m1 negative 1 plus uh, square root of 3 times i 4 over x is equal to value of m is negative 1 plus square root of 3 times i divided by 2. Now from here we use uh, cross multiplication. We multiply this x by this negative 1 plus uh, square root of 3 times i and we multiply this 2 by this 4. So x times x times negative 1 plus uh, square root of 3i is equal to 4 times 2 8. Now if we divide both sides by negative 1 plus uh, square root of 3i then this implies x is equal to 8 divided by negative 1 plus uh, square root of 3i. Now we multiply and divide this expression by conjugate of this negative 1 plus square root of 3i. Conjugate of this negative 1 plus square root of 3i is negative 1 minus square root of 3i and we divide by negative 1 minus square root of 3i. Next x is equal to h times negative 1 minus square root of 3i, 8 times negative 1 minus square root of 3i divided by according to this algebraic identity a plus b times a minus b is equal to a squared minus b squared. This uh, negative 1 plus uh, square root of 3i times negative 1 minus square root of 3i is equal to negative 1 squared minus square root of 3i squared. And from here x is equal to 8 times negative 1 minus square root of 3i divided by negative 1 squared is 1 minus square root of 3i squared is equal to 3i squared and this is equal to 8 times negative 1 minus square root of 3 times i divided by now in place of this i squared we put the value of i squared negative 1 like this 1 minus 3 times value of i squared is negative 1. Next x is equal to 8 times negative 1 minus square root of 3i divided by this uh, 1 minus 3 times negative 1 is equal to 1 plus 3. So this 1 plus 3 is equal to 4 and 4 1 time 4 2 times 8. So from here we get the value of x x2 is equal to 2 times negative 1 negative 2 and 2 times negative square root of 3 times i negative 2 times square root of 3 i. This is the second value of x. Now to find the third value of x In this equation 4 over x is equal to m we put the value of m to negative 1 minus square root of 3i over 2. 4 
over x is equal to value of m2 is negative 1 minus square root of 3i over 2 and we use here cross multiplication we multiply this x by this negative 1 minus square root of 3i and we multiply this 2 by this 4 so x times x times negative 1 minus square root of 3i is equal to 2 times 4 8 and from here if we divide both sides by negative 1 minus square root of 3i then this implies x is equal to 8 divided by negative 1 minus square root of 3i now from here we multiply and divide this expression by conjugate of this expression negative 1 plus square root of 3i negative 1 plus square root of 3i divided by negative 1 plus square root of 3i next x is equal to 8 times this expression 8 times negative 1 plus square root of 3i divided by according to this algebraic identity a minus b times a plus b is equal to a squared minus b squared this uh, one this uh, negative one minus square root of 3i times negative one plus the square root of 3i is equal to negative one squared minus square root of 3i squared next x is equal to 8 times negative 1 plus square root of 3i divided by negative 1 squared is 1 minus square root of 3i squared is 3i squared next x is equal to 8 times negative 1 plus square root of 3i divided by 1 minus now in place of this i squared we put the value of i squared negative 1 like this 3 times value of i squared is negative 1 next x is equal to 8 times negative 1 plus square root of 3i divided by 1 negative 3 times negative 1 plus 3 next x is equal to 8 times negative 1 plus square root of 3 i divided by 1 plus 3 4 now from here 4 1 time and 4 2 times 8 so from here we get the third value of x x 3 is equal to 2 times negative 1 negative 2 and 2 times plus square root of 3i plus 2 times square root of 3i this is the third value of x and value of x2 is equal to negative 2 minus 2 times square root of 3i and value of x1 is equal to 4. So, these are the three solutions of this equation.